Let's talk about systems of equations. And a system of equations is a grouping of equations such that the solution to the system is a solution to every equation in that system. And so we're going to start by showing an example of a system and how we can recognize it as a system. So we have 2x plus y equals 2 and 4x minus 3y equals 9. And to show that this is a system, we put our little squirrely set brace on one side and everything combined by that is part of the system. And the next thing we're going to look at is two points. So we want to know is minus 2, 6 a solution? Remember, like anything else, we're looking at an ordered pair x, y. And we're going to plug that in, so we're going to get 2 times minus 2 plus 6 equals 2. So minus 4 plus 6 equals 2. 2 equals 2, so it works with the first equation. When we try and plug in our second equation, though, we get minus 8 minus 18 equals 9, which is minus 26 equals 9, which doesn't work, so this is not a solution, because there's one equation it doesn't work for. Our second point we want to check is the point 3 halves minus 1. So we do the same thing. We plug in 3 halves for x, and add y, and we want to see, does this come out as a 2? So we get 3 minus 1, sure enough, 2 equals 2. So it, again, it works for our first equation. But our second equation, we're not sure about yet, so we need to plug in. We want to make sure this equals 9, and the 4 and the 2 will divide out, and we have a 2, which is 2 times 3 is 6. Minus 3 minus 1 is 3. 6 plus 3 is 9, and our point works. This is a solution because both equations are true from the same point, for the same point. Now, the last thing that we want to talk about are the types of solutions. And to do this, we're going to use a picture representation. So here we have our three types of solutions. You'll notice that these are both, or all three of these are linear equations. But in our first case, we get only a single point as our answer, just right here. So there's only one answer. And since it has an answer, we say it's consistent. That means has an answer. It's independent because there's only one point as the answer. We can find the x or the y independently, and they don't depend on each other. It's just what we have. So this is a consistent, independent system, our first one. Our second one, notice that they never cross. That means that there's no points. If I pick this one, it only works for him. If I pick this one, it only works for the blue line. Since it doesn't work, we say this is inconsistent, meaning no solution. In our last example, notice we have the same line. That's why it's purple, the blue and the red together. If it's the same line, it means it's consistent because it has solutions, but it's dependent because a particular solution will depend on which x you pick. So if I pick this one, it's this x and this y, but if I pick this one, then it's this x and this y. And so we have an infinitely many solutions because we have lines that are coincident. They're right on top of each other.